Hey guys, Dan Heilman here, back with another Awakened Chaos Era video. I did it. I finally cleared Tulpa. I've cleared all the stages on 14, and I've cleared Hard Tower. Um, yeah. I'll show you the Tulpa team. I'll show you the stats. The dungeon is not the greatest, I'm not going to lie. I don't understand why it's so difficult. It is one of the most difficult in all of the bunch here. And the gear is just mediocre. So... It has life sets, it has vanguard sets, and it has rage sets. I think the best sets are these two sets. Rage set is kind of a beginner set. Um, I feel like you're going to be using Avarice or Cursed or something else uh, in its place, but these are nice kind of supporting sets for two-piece sets for support units. If you want to build a Blackhorn, for example, you might want Revival and a Terra set because he scales off HP. If you want to build a Hakrin, you might put Revival set and a Vanguard set, because he scales off defense. So those are the useful sets there. I'll show you the run. I'll show you the team I'm using. This is the team I'm using right here. And um, I'll show you the stats at the end. Uh, let's begin. So first thing to know about the waves is those big enemies at the end here, though it will reset their entire health, once the small ones die so you want your aoe damage dealer aka valeria to go first you see how they just full healed um so that's important marion shadow blood kind of needs to be fast because she scales her damage off speed um she scales her joint attacks off speed so she kind of needs to be fast garol you want slower than valeria The team is about 80%, there we go. And that's why it's 80%, because if you don't finish the last ad, you're dead. Um, it's exactly like Tulpa, so if you don't kill the ad, the ad one-shots everything. You see the ad was left with about one HP there, so I need a little bit more damage on my Garrel. All right, so again, we need to get rid of the ads first and then focus on the big boys. There's that. You can see when they die, the main ads don't even take damage because they get the full heal at the end of the turn, which is kind of annoying. This mechanic is uh, pretty insane, I'm not going to lie, especially for the dungeon with the worst gear in the game. I just don't know why they value Rage Set so highly. I feel like Rage Set should be a two-piece that gives like 12% crit rate. And then Rage Set might be useful. But right now, four-piece for 20% crit? I mean, you can get 40-50% crit on one piece of gear, so... This makes no sense to me. Here we go. I got the reset on Valeria, which is what I really needed. You need Valeria to have her AoE like that, and now she's going to go again, and then now this is going to be a no-problem run. But sometimes Valeria doesn't get her reset, and she doesn't get to um, use her AoE again. Geralt's got some cool animations. I don't know that Geralt is that much better than Cyrus, but the big problem with Cyrus is she's so fast, you can't really make her slower than Valeria. So she's going to go ahead and she's going to attack the main target, and she's going to get the main target low, waste all of her attacks, and then Valeria is going to kill the adds and they're going to full heal. Now, you'll notice that I'm killing the adds first. I tried killing just the boss and I was unable to complete this. So what I do is I do the right, the left, and the boss. Um, I kind of tried the left, right, and boss, and it was not as reliable either. The run seems to be about 80%, so it's definitely not 100%. Uh, this dungeon's really hard. It's it's one of the hardest dungeons out there. Um, I don't see a lot of people farming it. It's extremely hard, man. <laughs> and the gear is not that great. Not gonna lie. I don't know if you can use any other units to kill this boss. Really don't know. Uh, there can be no mercy 
for treason. You can see lots of joint attacks with uh, MSB there. The higher the speed, the more she gets. So mine is built pretty quickly. I'll show you the gear after this is over. Joint attack, dealing 4,000 true damage with MSB. Obviously, her true damage scales with the the HP of the enemy, so Topol's got a lot of HP. All right, shield goes up. Same thing. You got it. You got two two rounds to clear the shield. If you don't, you're dead. You're dead. I feel like Geralt really doesn't hit that hard. You won't do as much damage as uh, the other two in this team. My fists know no fear. This will do a lot of damage. Look at that, 9,000 damage, true damage. Carol does a lot of tiny baby hits. A lot of 500, 600s in there. Alright, and this should be it. That's uh, that. Alright, triple flat stats. Show you the damage. Um, oh, MSB actually did... About the same as Geralt this time. Uh, last run I did, MSB did a lot more damage than Geralt. So, yeah, obviously Valeria's c clearing the waves, so she's going to do a lot of damage. And Brand is just in there for the buffs and the shield. Um, as far as... Here's the run. Um, I just want to show you the average time. It's like 70-80% win rate, and the average battle duration is about 4 minutes. It's not super fast. It's not super slow. Um, it's not super reliable, but it does work. If you just want to do it to get Tulpa 14 down, or if you just want to farm a little bit of gear, um, you can definitely make this team... Um, I'll show you the gear now. There's no room for hope. All right, let's start with Geralt. I literally A5'd Geralt just to kill Tulpa. I had a bunch of legendary vials that I've been saving up for a while. Figure he was a good candidate. I could use him in arena and some other stuff. Um, so obviously that gives him one bonus turn. That's the whole point of his fifth ascension is one bonus turn. I don't know that it's required, but um, I did a five him for that. He's in a cursed set with a broken set, and his stats are really not that good. Uh, Thirty seven hundred attack. His attack's quite low, and um, he's got two eighty two crit damage. He does have a decent amount of HP and defense. Um, his speed's kind of low and um, a little bit of precision and agility. That's his build. He is fully glyphed and fully skilled up. Next person is Valeria. Valeria is fully skilled up and glyphed. She is in an Avarice set with a speed set because I wanted her to go before Garel. Um, oops. And her stats are 4300. Um, 150 speed, 100% crit, 300 crit damage. She's built very well, and she needs to be built well to clear the adds. She's really going to help you. Um, I do use her in arena, so that's why I have her with some of my best gear. Uh, she is one of my arena nukers. So, I would love to get her uh, ascended up some. Okay, Brand. He's the third person in the team here. Um, he's in a stun set. He's basically built for arena. You would probably want, I guess you probably don't need a revival set because he's so tanky. Um, but yeah, stun set is not super helpful in here, but it's really nice in PvP. 
Here's his stats, uh, 23k health. You want to build him a lot of health because that gives him a bigger shield. You want to give him um, defense so that he can stay alive. And you want to give him speed so he can go before your team so he can buff them. You also want to build him focus, um, especially if you run him in a stun set. My focus is too low here. But uh, yeah, you also want it for the, the decreased attack. And then I have some agility and some resistance to help keep him alive. Again, this is mostly a PvP build, but you can use him here. Last person is Marion Shadowblood. She's down here. Uh, mine is A5. You would want at least A2. You don't need A5, but it helps. Uh, A5 actually gives you the extra speed boost. So you really just want A2 so that the trigger chance scales with character speed. That's what you're looking for. You do need her to be A2. Um, looks like I my glyphs aren't fully maxed. I'm going to throw that one in there right now. Uh, skills are maxed and kind of just in broken sets with a couple speed sets so i got two speed sets um and then one broken set she needs more attack uh 3700 192 speed so again the higher her speed the more proc she gets crit rate could use a couple more and her crit damage is really lacking Kind of just some extra build, extra gear ahead laying around. She has high agility for some reason, a little bit of precision. Uh, not the best build for her. You do want high speed, though. So you don't think you need 190 speed, but it's probably nice to have. Okay, that's it for the video, guys. That's the team. That's Tulpa. I finished 14 on all dungeons. Um, it took a while to get Tulpa down, and it's honestly not super consistent. I just don't really recommend farming Tulpa that much. If you want to build a team because you want to get a couple HP or defense sets, go for it. Uh, this is the team I used. If we go into the dungeon, let's see what other people are using here. Um, I don't know what's up with this team with EFD, but I, I don't know if this is a real team or a fake team, but yeah, <laughs> uh, that might be a real team. Oh, okay. You can see a lot of people are using that team. That's funny. I didn't even look at this, but I ended up building the same team that a lot of other people are using. <laughs> I guess I should have looked at this before. I did a lot of testing in different teams and finally came up with this team, and it's number two on the list, of course. Yeah, some people are using Thomas in here, too. This is interesting with no Valeria. I know Hector should be good in here as well. Orac is good in here as well. Uh, these teams all work. Some people using Yolanda, My the Asia, even someone using Gangello. I don't know if this is a real team or a fake team. There's some hackers and stuff in here, so not all these teams are always real, but yeah. Okay, that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button, sub to the channel if you're not already, and have a great day, everyone. See you guys.